I said, yeah! <laughs> Another one. This one feels a little better. Oh, yeah. And there's number three. And we got interrupted by another fish. But that is. Oh, yeah, there's a good one. He hit it like the swim bait. So this turtle is going to come over here and harass me. As you can see him approach. That ain't too bad. Let me get the hook out. Well, that's not too bad. Oh, oh, oh. Got him right down here by the pipe. Feels a little better. Oh yeah. yeah, that's much better. Much better. That's like a couple pounds right there. Ah, take it easy, dude. There's another one. Oh boy. And there's number three. stacked up right here yeah careful ow well, that was dangerous apparently they're stacked up right here I think he came off on his own there's number three They're kind of stacked up right here on this uh, this end of the pond. Makes sense because there's a uh, a storm drain runoff right here in front of me, where a storm drain exits into the pond. In these uh, small retention ponds, those are excellent places to. Uh, to look for fish. I'm gonna stay right here in front of this storm drain. So now's a good time to talk about these uh, small retention ponds. So these things were built primarily to to try to give runoff from heavy rains a place to go. 
uh, other than to puddle and cause, you know, flooding issues. And so they're connected to storm drains, um, you know, in the streets and parking lots and shopping centers and these things being man-made, they really are void of underwater structure. You know, they're basically dug, they're dug flat, they're designed just to uh, retain, you know, rain runoff, but they do have some great features to them that, that should be focal points when you're fishing them. And I got interrupted by another fish. This one's not quite as big. We'll take him. Take it easy. Oh boy, these things are angry. That's the smallest one. Get bigger. Somebody needs to conduct a study on how fishing line tangle tangles so easily. So what I was saying before I was so pleasantly interrupted is these retention ponds have several areas where rain runoff exits into them. And you can see right here, this is a, uh, a storm drain exit. And this is where I've caught all these fish. And then you can see down here is a spillway. So when this pond rises um, above that level, the excess water can spill off into other ponds or wetland areas and it you know reduces uh, the probability of flooding so areas like storm drain exits if you think about when it rains really heavy what's happening here is you've got huge volumes of much cooler, higher oxygen content water that's flowing into this pond. And this is gonna attract fish, especially in the summertime when these ponds, uh, you know, they're, they're very shallow in many cases. So the water temperature really gets warm and um, you know, you've got all of a sudden, you've got all this, this cool, fresh oxygen saturated water rushing into the pond that's gonna that's gonna to uh, you know attract fish um, not to mention the insects and other little small things like worms that will be rinsed uh, into the pond through the storm drain too that's gonna attract fish as well so anywhere water enters the pond from a storm drain or a culvert type system where these ponds are connected together is a great place to find these fish. These last four fish that I've caught have been right here in the vicinity of a storm drain and uh, a spillway. And we did have some very heavy rain a couple of days ago, too, so the fish may still be congregating in these areas because of that. One more time, right in front of this storm drain. Spit it out. 
Okay. The little guy was right in front of that spillway. Right where you knew he'd be. It was not the greatest cast in the world. See, they're hitting, they're pretty much hitting on that summer type retrieve. That slow, whatever. That slow retrieve close to the bottom, so. But they're close to the shore. Now, the smaller fish obviously are going to be by nature are going to stay closer to the shore than the biggins, but the uh, larger fish that I caught this morning were close to the shore, so but here's another drain so if you look right over here hopefully you can see that there's a storm drain let me walk up here so there's a storm drain right here in the street, and it exits right here. You can see where it exits, right here. So when we get really heavy rains, or any kind of rain for that matter, that cooler, more oxygen-saturated water that has just fallen by the rain is going to drain out into the pond right here. And that is going to be a place that fish are going to congregate. Not to mention earthworms and insects that may rinse down into the storm drain from the street as well. So good places to fish on these retention ponds. Nothing there. That is. Oh, yeah, there's a good one. He hit it like the swim bait. Come up here. He hit it like a swim bait. Indeed. Can't believe how easy that hook came out. Okay. So that guy hit it like a swim bait, which is the purpose of the speed worm. Slow hopping off the bottom, or kind of a steady, steady or intermittent retrieve. In any of the the levels of the water column, these fish are trying to kill me. Still on there. <laughs> That'll dude. 
I did not think I caught him. Felt him hit it. Oh my goodness. Felt him hit it. And then nothing. So this turtle is going to come over here and harass me. As you can see him approach. Come on, dude. <laughs> I've got nothing for you to eat. Unless you're a fish. Speaking of fish, <laughs> right on top of the turtle. Careful. Uh oh. See, there's another choker right there. So, let's get the pliers on this guy. Oh, got it. Alright, get you back in. Still watching me. So, take a look at my phone. He's in there, but he's in the weeds, too. Damn. Maybe he'll swim out. He's still on. There he is. Yeah, come on. Good God. Sorry about that, bud. I know that was a bit traumatic, but not what I wanted. All right. He's like, what the hell just happened? Oh, no, I got him. He was running towards me. Him off. Oh, that's not a good picture. Whoop, oh, sorry. Sorry, dude. Careful. He's still, and I'll get you back in. Oh, Jesus, he's slippery. Let's try this again. It's a lot of trouble. Phew. That was one of the hardest fish I've caught in a while.